welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well if you're new here i have friends subscribe yeah 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 join the team so for today's video as you can tell by the title i'm gonna be talking about the fragrances that are most used in my collection because this is where you get the real tea this is where you get the real tea what am i actually using and what i repurchase it hold on real quick my dogs are being rude so i'm not gonna waste your time babe so i'm gonna jump right on into it so the first fragrance we have here is burberry brit rhythm and this is just a flanker to the very popular burberry brit fragrance you can find this at ross tj maxx marshall's it's pretty accessible and it's pretty affordable Honestly, it's one of my favorite bottles. So pretty, so elegant and classy. It looks very expensive, like, okay? It sounds like an abacus when I do that. I don't have the top on it because I actually put the top on another fragrance, which you will see later because I just, I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the top. I don't like the top of the other one. I don't have a problem with this top, but back to this fragrance so it essentially is a very clean version of burberry brit it has a very strong lavender opening that stays with the fragrance the entire way and the best way i can describe this fragrance is clean laundry clean linen like you know fresh out the shower plus the laundry is fresh on your body like very clean in a laundry for breeze like fabric softener dryer sheets in that type of way it is one of those clean laundry fragrances i did enjoy it while i had it and i did actually get quite a few compliments on it i had somebody stop me in a parking lot and when i was wearing my little lash drop y'all like literally when i was wearing this little lash drop last week i sat on the couch you know when you sit on the couch how all the air like like you know it did one of those so i sat on the couch next to my, my brother and he was like oh you smell good and i was like dang i'm at the very last of this too but thank you so i would say this is worth trying out however however y'all i have to be honest i would not repurchase this and the reason I wouldn't repurchase this is because there was something that would kind of choke me out. And I think it was the lavender note. It just wasn't as refined as the lavender note in YSL's Lieb. It, it was just very like, like clawing at my throat in like a scratchy way. The lavender note in here is very screechy. It is a beautiful fragrance. However, the lavender note is very screechy and sometimes it would just be too much for me and it would choke me out a little bit. And it wasn't even the whole fragrance. It was like, why is the lavender specifically? Why the lavender specifically is choking me out? Like, what is going on? So I would not repurchase this, but I do like the idea of a fresh and clean fragrance that reminds me kind of clean laundry. So I did go ahead and pick up Roberto Cavalli's Paradiso. Yeah. Y'all hear me speaking Spanish. Yeah. So this is another fragrance that is very clean. Smells like very clean laundry. It just gives a very similar clean vibe in the way that clean laundry and fresh febreze does but it's not as screechy nowhere near as screechy and as choking as burberry Brit rhythm but it is a fragrance that i would say is very beautiful it is a compliment getter and it is worth a try but for me some in it was choking me out baby i couldn't i couldn't take it <laughs> i couldn't take it but as you can see it was nice enough for me to use the whole bottle so there's that so the next fragrance I have here is a fragrance that has popped up in a couple of my videos, y'all. If you've been watching, which you should have, and if you haven't, go ahead and watch some more videos. What are you doing? So this is Narciso Rodriguez for her Must Noir. And as you can see, I am literally down to my last drop. And I've said it so many times before I know this by heart. This is a plum heliotrope suede fragrance. It is absolutely beautiful, but... Hmm. I'm gonna just go ahead and get right into it because I've described this fragrance in so many other videos if you want me to describe it go ahead and watch one of the Beyonce Renaissance videos actually it's the second one because I talk about it this one is one that I absolutely love and I wish I could keep it in my collection I'm not gonna lie y'all I really wish that she did what she was supposed to do but let me tell you where she had me messed up she had me messed up like how you gonna smell this beautiful in the last two hours how you gonna smell this beautiful in last two hours? That's really disrespectful. To me, 
that's really disrespectful that's one of the main reasons that i'm not repurchasing this fragrance however if there was some way that this could last longer like this particular fragrance i 100 percent would so instead of repurchasing this i have replaced it and i'm waiting on it in the mail i have replaced it with must noir rose which is essentially the same fragrance but that one has vanilla in it and it has a couple of like slightly different notes it is essentially what will probably be named Named as the intense version of this fragrance and it lasts way longer I tested it on my skin at Macy's walked around with it went home you know just to see how long it will last cuz baby you wasn't gonna give me again okay you wasn't the remake you wasn't gonna give me with a remix you wasn't gonna give me with a remix so when I got home it was still there it lasted pretty much up until I got ready to take a shower. It did die down and become a scent that sat a little bit closer to my skin, but like, honestly, that's fine with me because it's real sexy. I'm not gonna lie. The Must Noir Rose is real sensual and seductive, so I don't mind it sitting close to my skin because, you know, that's fine. That's fine. So, yeah, I will not be repurchasing for now, okay? One day I might just be okay and carry it in my bag, but for now, for now... I'm going to go ahead and go with the Must Noir Rose so I can get a little bit better longevity and have just, you know, another sensual, seductive, sexy fragrance in my collection because I am a fan, okay? I am a fan of little sexy fragrances, okay? The next fragrance I have here is Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. And y'all, I had to switch the top. This is where the top to Burberry Brit Sheer went. I had to take that big ass <laughs> diamond off. Um, I know a lot of people think this bottle is cute with the big crystal, but honestly, it was taking up too much space on my dresser. I don't have that much space. I live in the Bay Area. Our apartments are as small as shoe boxes, okay? And our rooms inside those apartments are about the size of a tiny little jewelry box, okay? So I'm like, I don't have that much space which means that my little storage caddies for my fragrances have to be very small as well. Like I can't, I don't have a whole fragrance cabinet as much as I would love to, as much as I would love to. I don't have that in my life yet. So that big ass top had to go. It had to go. It was just taking up space. It was too much for me. So I had to switch the top out while I was using this. And as you can see, I am pretty much done with this fragrance it is a very nice fragrance it's pretty popular specifically the original versace bright crystal is very popular but this is the absolute version which is supposed to be a more intense version of the original and i would agree that it is pretty much a more intense version and this one is just a very green florals bright and this is just one that is just a nice easy throw on fragrance However, I have decided that I'm not going to repurchase this. And the reason for that is I have a kind of similar fragrance, but it goes in a different direction. And it's a little more classic to me in a way. Not saying that this is not a classy fragrance, but I do have Dior Rose and Roses. And I feel like that one is just a little more grown up to me. And it's not as strong on the Ambroxan because this one kind of gives me like floral but like in your face floral it's kind of sharp and sometimes it's a bit much for me so i have to be careful with this one not to overspray it even though it is a nice fragrance and everything but that ambroxan did get a little screechy like once the high of finding a new fragrance is over you just kind of start to notice different notes and you just kind of start to notice the difference in fragrances as you kind of expand your palette and you start to smell more fragrances like you'll smell fragrances that kind of do the same thing but sometimes they just do it better like that's just the reality of it so i have found so many fragrances i thought i loved and then i find another one and i'm like oh this is like that but like better <laughs> so i have decided to go ahead and say goodbye when this one is done and start using my Dior Rose and Roses, which I already should have been using, but this one is just such an easy reach. And of course, I mean, it's Dior. So I'm like, I'm not about to wear that every day. That fragrance was a lot of money. But you know what? 
you know what I bought it so I need to use it so this will be replaced with Dior Rose and Roses if you enjoy this fragrance I highly recommend trying out Dior's Rose and Roses or Blooming Bouquet very similar fragrances just like nice floral fragrances that kind of have that aldehydic ambroxan type of vibe to it but this one I must say is a lot more screechy and just not as well rounded as Dior's Rose and Roses and I'm not saying that just because it's Dior like I mean this is Versace Versace this is Versace but I'm not saying that just because it's Dior literally like smell the two and you'll just see how well rounded Rose and Roses is versus this this is a little screechy and a little hard on the nose and a little bit harsh when you like really get used to the fragrance and compare it especially to another similar fragrance you'll start to see like oh okay I see you know so yeah I'm gonna say goodbye to this puppy I have a few little drops left let's go ahead and use these little drops right now so I can say goodbye after this video so the next fragrance I have here I actually have the original and the intense flanker so I have Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme it's just this nice marshmallowy like raspberry type of fragrance and i have the intense version here and y'all these bottles are so cute to me they are they're really cute and they look nice on the vanity but i must say that i feel like i was misinformed <laughs> i feel like i was misinformed so originally okay so maybe not with this one i heard that this one smells like marshmallow scented baby wipes which it does but it supposedly had a raspberry note in it and i never picked it up but you know what i did pick up i picked up raspberry in this one but the raspberry smell like half digested <laughs> i know that sounds crazy but it's not it doesn't smell like throw up or anything it just kind of smell like mushed up bat raspberry that has been mushed up in like a baby wipe or something. This is me mushing up raspberry on a baby wipe. That's what that was. But it literally, you pick the raspberry in this one. So I don't know. But anyway, I got both because I smoked this one in the store and I was like trying to figure out if I liked it or not. And I wasn't quite sold on it, but I went ahead and purchased it because I got the 3.4 on sale for fifty dollars and i think this one was like 37 or something like that no no no, no. maybe this was 44 and this was 37 because i know they were close in price and i was like i mean literally two for the price of one two full sizes for what i would pay for one 1.7 ounce fragrance like so i went ahead and got it because i was not quite so but i was like oh it's nice and it's like not that bad so i might as well just go ahead and get them but I've learned my lesson the hard way to not do that. If you're not sold on a fragrance or if you don't like it or if you haven't spent enough time to truly decide whether you like it or not, don't add it to your collection because these are not cheap. Even though $37.44 may be cheap for a fragrance, that's not, not money when you keep doing that and adding more fragrances to your collection that you're trying to figure out if you like or not spend some time with it leave if you have to spray it on your wrist see how it reacts on your skin spray it on your clothes see how you like that go home and then come back but spend some time with the fragrance and sometimes there have been times where i smelled the fragrance and i was like oh hell no absolutely not ma'am why would you even show me this and then I come back and my mind is entirely changed. And then I have to do it again because I'm like, okay, was that second time a fluke or was the first time a fluke? Because one of them was lying. One of them was lying. You know, spend some time with it. And sometimes you have to try it multiple times. And I felt like I was like not entirely sold. And I just went ahead and bought it without like really sitting with the fragrance. So that is how I ended up with both of these because I love intense versions. I i just do nine times out of ten the intense version is just like really good to me so i was like you know what when i get both you know i think i tried this one in store and i was like you know if this is a more intense version of this i mean i'm gonna like it pick it up oh my god 
So these two fragrances, I must say, are not my favorite. They're nice, though. They are very nice fragrances, and I can see why people like them and keep them in their collection. But for me, I'm just not wowed by them. And I'm like, fragrances are not cheap. And not that it has to be, like, the most riveting fragrance that I've ever smelled for me to add it to my collection. But I feel like I should at least really be enthusiastic about picking it up. Or just be excited to wear it when it does come around time for me to wear it. Like, I want to feel that when I'm reaching for my fragrances. And these two, I just don't feel that. It's kind of like, oh, I could throw this on top. You know, I'm just trying to get through the fragrance more than I am really enthusiastic about, like, smelling, like, marshmallow baby wipes. You know? So, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to say goodbye to these two. Peace out, y'all. It was fun while it lasted. And we're going to move to the next fragrance. So my next most used fragrance is Giorgio Armani's My Way. And this one is such a sweetie pie. It is a sweet bubblegummy tuberose. And y'all, I love this. I love this, which is why I've used it. I wasn't trying to get through the fragrance. Y'all, I just picked it up. Like every time, I was like, oh yeah. Literally, I love when I reach for a fragrance and I smell it and I'm like, yeah. I love that feeling when I uh, pick up some of my fragrances. So this is one that I have gotten through so quickly. I had to make myself stop using it because I was like, I'm going to get tired of it. I need to stop because I was wearing it all day. Take a shower, put it on and sleep in it because I really liked it that much when I first got it. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is My Way Intense, not the original. So this one is the very, very sweet bubblegum tuberose one. And I love it. Would I repurchase 100%? Yeah. 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 That girl. <laughs> I already repurchased the refill. This is a refillable bottle. So literally already have five extra ounces of this fluid <laughs> so that I can smell like this all the time I love this one 100% if you haven't checked out my way intense and you're a fan of my way try this one out let me know what you think so the next fragrance I have here is one of my faves Olympia as you can see I am quite literally exactly halfway done with the bottle and this is just forever a beautiful scent to me it is such a beautiful salty vanilla white floral fragrance like i'm a fan of jasmine i'm a fan of vanilla and that salt i didn't know i was a fan of salt until i picked this one up and baby she's gonna stay must i even ask the question whether or not she needs to be in my collection the answer is yes the answer is yes and when i get a little bit lower on this i'm already planning to pick up another one this is just one that is perfect for any time. I've literally worn this every season. I've worn this mixed with so many different fragrances and it's always a good time. Like it just, it just smells so good. And it's a great going out fragrance. Like I just really love this one. This is gonna stay babes. It's gonna stay babes. Last but not least here we have Armani Aqua de Joya. And this is just a beautiful aquatic fragrance that is full of citrusy goodness. It's a very beachy scent and it has a beautiful brown sugar note that brings that sweetness out. It's like, ooh, it's like a warm summer breeze while you're at the beach. And it's just something sweet to it that's just dancing all over those notes. It's just so beautiful. To me, this could be a unisex fragrance, honestly. If a guy wore this, I 100% would purchase this again. It's, it's no need to even going over the pros and cons because this is one that I really love. It's one of my favorite fresh aquatic fragrances. And honestly, it's one of my favorite Armani fragrances. This and My Way Intense are probably two of my like top two fragrances from Armani. 1000%. Also, I just learned that I am an aquatic fragrance girly. Like, I really like aquatic fragrances. I don't know why, but they are like winners. Like, when I smell them, nine times out of ten, I'm probably going to like it if it's done right. If it's done right, okay? But I love me a nice aquatic. This is a beautiful one. And it matches my shirt. Look at that. Meant to be. 
but I will not be repurchasing those five fragrances so once I'm done with those I'm gonna say goodbye and move on to greater pastures you know what I mean so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for staying tuned I hope to see you on the next one peace